Well, shit, while I'm here, might as well talk about, uh, shit, we could talk about, we could talk about the Bray Wyatt thing, um, that's pretty fucked up, um, the WWE is just really out of touch. Um, more so Vince McMahon. I heard it was more John Laurinaitis. But you know he's more like... He just screams. His body language just screams out of touch. And um, they said he was difficult to work with. Is um, he was very protective of his character, which he should be because they obviously wasn't. Um, Bray, like I, I was thinking earlier, um, Undertaker would not have been able to be be the Undertaker, and um. this climate um the um, undertaker wouldn't been able to been the undertaker like there would be no undertaker because vince doesn't know how to be creative anymore it's like it's it's sad um Bray was probably the best thing going other than Roman Reigns and the only reason Roman Reigns is the best thing going is because they let him book his character they include him in the booking of his character Uh, there's rumors that Roman Reigns um, pulled his weight and said hey either I'm going to go on first or I'm going to go on last protecting the the aura of his character protecting the magnitude of his character which is great um but they didn't say he was difficult to work with um they said um bray was out of shape bray was a very um he was he was built funny you know you could compare him to the tasmanian devil um to give you an image but he he was in shape i never looked at bray as a um his his wrestling i believe they said his performance wasn't um up to par or you know of course i'm paraphrasing right there but if that is the most hypocritical statement of all time like you've let great professional wrestlers go Because they couldn't build a character. And then you have the ultimate character in your repertoire, in your your arsenal. And you don't know how to use him. And so you release him. Because he isn't a great wrestler. Like, um, just, I wish they would just say, like, we're cheap as shit. And we don't know how to book you. I wish that, I, I wish... It was more, um, we all know that's what it is. It's just like, we would love them to say it because plenty of wrestlers have been out of shape. We've seen Triple H out of shape. We've seen, um, who's some great champions that's been out of shape? I don't know. Um, but I know Triple H at one point was very much out of shape in the middle of a title run. Um... But even then, it's 2021. We've seen great wrestlers like Samoa Joe. Um, let's just talk about people you would perceive as big, overweight. Samoa Joe, um, other than Bray Wyatt, of course. Samoa Joe, Eddie Kingston, um, Myro, uh, formerly known as Rusev, was quote-unquote overweight. And they are great performers. Eddie Kingston, um, you know, as I said, Myro, formerly known as Rusev, 
is doing his thing in AEW and is one of their top stars. He deserved like I wish WWE would just say we're out. <laughs> of course they're gonna, not going to say that, but they they're out of touch. They're very much out of touch. There's m- multiple multiple t- people could be a um a star. Um I believe they didn't believe in Adam Cole. Like even I looked at him like, "Man, this guy's a small guy, but he's a great performer. He has a great personality. He has a great character." And WWE is just out of touch, and it's a shame that people have wasted years in their career for this company, and they don't get the same respect back. You know, that it goes deeper. It's a that's just the tip of the iceberg. We're not even mentioning how they don't have insurance, and um, how they have to pay for their own travel and all of that. We're not even going to mention that, but. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's sad how they did Bray Wyatt, known as Wyndham Rotunda now. Um, but he's gonna be great wherever he goes. He's gonna be great wherever he goes. I hope it's AEW um, because that's the most um, out there. You know, it's the second most mainstream. You could even call it mainstream. Um, yeah, and it's easily accessible somewhat. Even though they don't upload their clips on YouTube like WWE does. And that's how I've been watching WWE the past few years. So, um, so hopefully, you know, he goes to AEW. I've heard there was like, he, Tony Khan is like mixing words. He's sending mixed signals. He says he's talked to him personally, but not on a business level. I guess he's like, um, I don't know. He's um, being careful with what he says because of the fact that um, Wyndham, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt, is still within his 90-day contract or his 90-day no-complete no compete clause. So he has to be careful with what he says legally. So maybe that's it. I'm hoping that's what's it because I would love to see um, Wyndham aka Bray Wyatt and AEW um and I hope he gets to be as creative as he wants which I know he will because I believe in Tony Khan if everybody um if it's true what everyone is saying we will not see (laughs) Husky Harris in um in AEW um any new any other news um 